welcome to our new video podcast program discussion. I don't know if we've already picked a name for it, but um, in this podcast, we'll have a conversation about this week's featured program. And if you haven't listened to this program already, um, I really encourage you to go check it out on our website at www.spotlightenglish.com or here on YouTube in our 2021 playlist. Um, and just listen to that program, follow along with the words. Um, and then that's what we're going to discuss today in this program. Uh, we hope you'll join the conversation in the comments or, um, yeah, anytime. I'm Liz Wade, and with me, as always, is Adam Navis. Hello. Say hi, Adam. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. You know, good. Uh, that's. I feel like that's the typical, um, just nondescript answer yeah. when people I'm ask. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm pretty good. good. Yeah, you don't. People don't actually want to know. I mean, they do. Yeah. But they don't. It's it's more of an exchange of, hello, how are you? Blah blah blah. Yes. Yeah. I've acknowledged your presence. Exactly. But I don't really care. Yeah. We. It's not the time to go into your <laughs> your deep inner, inner life. Yeah. Well, Adam, I had a really bad day. Not uh, too much. Know, everything bad happened. Right. <laughs> You don't want to know that. No. So if people have come here for the first time, uh, we are uh, regularly doing Spotlight Live. We are regularly making programs where you can learn English, practice your English. Uh, yep. So this is something new. Where would this, Liz, how would you describe where this program, this conversation might fall um, if people are just new? How do, how do the well, pieces fit together? I think that um, what we're really trying to do is give you some additional content and really cover the whole spectrum, the whole line of mm. your learning, right? So we have uh, Spotlight, the classic Spotlight program for someone who is a beginner speaker or maybe, maybe lower intermediate level. Um, and then once you get a little more knowledge of English and you need a little bit faster of a speed, we have Spotlight Advanced, which uses a our same our same script, our same simpler sentence style, but with a more natural speaking speed. So um, it's not going to be quite as slow. <clears throat> and um, yeah, and then we have Spotlight Live, which is just kind of fun, but we have a conversation. Um, and this program is really about, um, yeah, you and I having a conversation. So this is two native English speakers speaking at a normal speed um, to each other about this interesting topic. So right. hopefully we will, um, you know, we find something to talk about in every program. What I love about Spotlight is yeah. um, it's not just practicing like, waiter, may I have a napkin or, you know, <laughs> exactly. whatever. Um, it's exactly. actually talking about real issues that um, impact your life or that you can uh, use to improve your life. Or right. So it gives people a sense just... of what two native speakers might talk about in, yeah. in reaction. Yeah. So... And, how, and how, you know, you can enter a conversation with uh, and talk about stuff. So, uh, Adam, I know that you are dying to find out what program we are going to talk about today. Yes. Um, I am. <clears throat> this is actually a program that I wrote. Okay. Um, about about the human face. It's called "What Is Your Face Saying?" Yes, I, I have exactly. more face than most people. My face goes all <laughs> the way back. That's a little bit gross. <laughs> oh. No. Um, <laughs> so, um, really, uh, so I, like I said, I wrote this program. And I wrote it because I saw a BBC special called The Human Face. Okay. Um, and I thought it was so interesting because, of course, everyone has a face. Right. Right. Um, and you sometimes don't know what your face is doing. Right. I know that um, I apparently have a very expressive face. 
face. Hmm. So one of the one of the um, vocabulary words in this program is expression. And an expression, a facial expression, is when you move your muscles to make um, to make an emotion on your face. So like happy, like right. or surprised, or you know sad. Those are all facial <laughs> expressions. Right. Um, and uh, so what I was saying, I have a very expressive face, apparently. So sometimes, you know, if you if you ask me, um, can I have that last donut? And I'll be like, sure, you can have it. And you, uh, and you know, I you you know that my words are saying yes. Your you true can have feelings it. are expressed but in your face. My face often betrays my feelings. Yes. And, um, yeah, it doesn't exactly give the message that I want. You to. know, it is interesting because no one accidentally says something that they don't mean to say, right? Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's it can, a lot, it can it's come a lot out harder to do that. You, it can come out. You can say, "Oh," or you, you can exclaim something. But our faces show things that we don't always mean, right? Like, right. like, like you were just saying, like, you know, in your heart, you should let me have that donut, <laughs> but your face, it, your true feelings come out and that, yeah. that is just a fascinating, uh, kind of look into, hu into humans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I, when I was watching that, um, that documentary, it, it, you know, impacted, it, it made me think about the way that I am over expressive in my face. Do you think that, um, would you like to, to dial it back be more stoic? I, yeah, I think so. Like I have worked very hard. Um, like when maybe I hear something that is, uh, that I don't want to hear or something, you know, I, I try to just, I don't, I don't know. I can't think of an example, but I like, I disagree with you. Something... I think you should let the expression come out. <laughs> they come out by themselves. Right. Uh, if you're watching this right in the comments, we want votes. <laughs> should Liz be robotic or should no, she be expressive? Robotic. See, not I have robotic. to do a lot of work with my eyebrows. Yeah. Well, and I will say like, um, you know, I used to do some acting in high school and college, mm -hmm. and um, one of my acting teachers would say, um, well, I mean, not all the time, but she was, she talked one time about like moving each muscle in your face one at a time. So to practice being able to control your facial expressions. So, but you know, like you just move like this muscle here or, or just your one, one eyebrow. And because your it. face uh, in this program, it kind of describes it a little better, but your face is just covered in muscles. It's all muscle right. under here. We're going to have and to make so, a thumbnail for this that's like us going like this. <laughs> yeah. But so there's so many muscles and we don't, you know, we don't think about them for one. Right. And for two, we don't actually know how to control them as well as say we can control our arms, you know, I'm up and down and whatever. So that's, that is really interesting to me about how you can con control those muscles in your face to make expression. I, I did. I do remember that the hearing a story about the actor Jim Carrey as a as a kid would stare oh, at yeah. the mirror in the bathroom and do just well, that. He has a very expressive face. Yes, I, I was just gonna say, if in case you don't know who Jim Carrey is, he is his face moves almost like inhumanly, right? Right. Like. It's like it's like rubber where the way his face can can move. Yes. So that's not surprising to me. Yeah. So he 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 started. He wanted to be able to do impressions, and he wanted to do faces, and and he would he would make his face. He would practice like a like an athlete would practice running or jumping. He did right. face face exercises basically. Um, but that does give me. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, for you. Yeah. So. You talked about maybe being self-conscious of, of how expressive your face is. Over the last year, we've been doing more Zoom calls and everybody's been doing more Zoom calls. Yeah. So like right now I can see you on my computer screen and I can see me. Do you <laughs> think, because I always look at myself, honestly, yeah. I, think, I think we all do. Do you think we'll get better at 
using facial expressions because of this using um, or do you think we'll just we're more self-conscious and we'll we'll stop using them i don't know i mean i think it's less about like controlling your facial expressions and more about controlling your um your look to other people hmm. you know like you don't want to i don't know have the camera up your nose or yeah or that yeah. sort of stuff so i'm not sure if that's but it is true. You might be able to identify your facial expressions in a better way and to to control yeah. your... Yeah. Because there have been some Zoom calls I've been on where somebody said something and I wished my camera had been off because, uh, <laughs> you know, I make an expression like this, like, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> and you I do wish the eye I had roll. not done that. <laughs> yeah. You know what we should... It would be interesting to take some pictures of ourselves and see if our listeners could identify what this facial expression or i'm sure there's some kind of quiz online well, okay so adam one of the interesting things in this program um and that i that i also learned from this documentary maybe i don't know it was a long time ago um first of all there are over ten thousand expressions that humans can make okay. with their faces so if you think about how many muscles there are in your face and then expressions across different cultures right that's pretty incredible 10,000 different uh, expressions. Um, the other one is that there are seven expressions that are universal. Okay. So almost everyone in the world can identify these seven expressions, no matter what culture they're from. Can or... I guess? Can I guess? Do you know what they are? If I, if I guess? Yeah, I do know what they are. Yes. Uh, uh, surprise. Okay. Yeah. Or, that's or fine. shock. Like if something happens... Uh, yeah, like, if an ooh. animal came and like was going to attack you or something, that kind of I think everybody or like would... if someone was going to throw you uh, a birthday party, a surprise yes, party that you didn't know and you about, walk in and you're like, oh! um, okay, surprise, so sadness, crying, yeah, yep, uh, sadness is one, sadness, um, anger, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. I guess three. you have to do them when you guess them, Adam. <sighs> That's my angry face. <laughs> I think that one is really anger. <laughs> uh, something with joy or happiness. Yeah, happiness is one. So, like, literally everyone in the world can recognize happiness. when your face is telling is is happy. Yeah, I I would say shame or embarrassment, but I don't feel like that one is going to make the list. Um, like, I don't think that would be. No, there's one that's kind of similar to that. Not really embarrassment, but um, like shame. Like imagine if you see someone doing something uh, that they should not. Oh, what emotion would that be? Uh, they shouldn't be doing it. It's like guilt. These it's... are not common words. Right. They're doing something that they don't, that they shouldn't be doing. Um, yeah. I don't know. What Maybe is the... when someone uh, like hits another person, you might have like a like disgust. Oh, disgust! Yes, disgust yeah. is a good one. Like, um, like I want this thing away from me. It's not right. Yeah. It's not. Yep. It's you turn it. The other one that's um, in a in a similar vein is contempt. Ooh, contempt! I know that is yeah. a very. Uh, dangerous thing in uh healthy yeah. relationships yes you do not yeah. want to feel like if you feel contempt for the person you're with yeah you may want to well, get some help okay so i want to tell you a little bit more about that uh after but there's one more emotion that you've got you've got happiness sadness anger surprise contempt and disgust there's one more and it's this is probably the most common one i would guess is there well, a very so, common one. Is it something with like um Here, I've got I've got, romantic, a, I've got a hint it, for you. Oh, you've got so a hint. So let's say that you're walking down the street and all of a sudden a rabid dog starts chasing you. You're not going to be surprised. You're going to be afraid? Yeah, fear. Fear. Okay. Fear. So that's interesting to me uh that you've got anger, shock and fear. No, anger and fear and surprise. Surprise. So surprise is a little bit different than shock, right? But the subtlety, like, because those are such um, survival. Like, we need we need those things yeah. to survive.
but things like like romantic love is expressed differently in the face or mm -hmm. um yeah that's yeah. so interesting so but but, when it, but but that's seven out of ten thousand you're saying yeah yeah that you can so so like for example um you know people in one culture might uh might use their eyebrows more to right. express you know to have their expressions or might use uh their mouth more or whatever mm -hmm. um and so those wouldn't necessarily be universal but Okay, so getting back to this contempt one and yes. relationships, this was another thing that I found really interesting in the research of this program um, because this program follows the story of a couple who go to um, like couples counseling because they, they think their marriage is over, right? Okay. Um, and they find, maybe, maybe I should leave it as a spoiler. No, um, they find that um, they are, they are, you know, having a little bit of communication problems, but the real problem is that uh, they are, their faces are, are showing contempt for each other. Mm. And so not only is a person picking up from their partner, you know, you're, you're angry at me or your words are mean, but their face is also showing like, like yeah. you're an idiot. And so right. it's just an additional layer of communication that's happening. Yeah, it, you know, that is that is very interesting because I could say to you, Liz, you are the worst. Yeah. But, which I don't actually mean, but you know what the words mean because I'm I'm my face is saying it, it, that's where the where the true meaning comes, I think. Yeah. I, well, it's why there's so much problem over like texting, too. Right. Like if yeah. you text me, Liz, you're the worst. Uh, and you don't put like a winky emoji. I know. Or, like, a I smiling. do not. I do not like emojis, but I started to use them. Yeah. For that reason, that I realized, oh, they're like that that facial expression. Yeah. People need to know that I'm just joking or that I'm serious. Yeah. Exactly. So anyway, um, yeah. Okay. So the other thing I wanted, I know we're we're running up against time now, probably. Um, but the one other thing I wanted to touch on is that the program talks about um, like facial expressions in babies. Oh. And another thing that I found really interesting um, that babies, even like minutes old, okay. minutes, okay, um, scientists showed them uh, like three pictures, right? One was just a blank page, one was just a page of like random shapes, and one was like a picture of um, like a face. Face. And so the babies would follow uh, the face over the oh. other two things. So, you know, they held up a blank page and moved it around. The babies didn't really follow that with their eyes. They yeah. follow the face, um, which I think is so interesting huh. um, because we're just we're hardwired to do that. Right. Yeah. Like we're hardwired to look at people's faces and to respond to those emotions. Yeah. Yeah. So no, opening and it up I, for and a I, deeper sorry, I was going to say, opening it up for a deeper question, like, what is all of this, um, like, texting communication doing for us, right? Yeah. Is it maybe harmful that we're not seeing each other's faces when we communicate? Well, I think that's part of the question, uh, you know, over the last year with people wearing masks and covering yes. part of their face. You know, sometimes I know that when I have to run to the store to pick up some some food or some groceries... And I see somebody that I might know a little bit. I'm not going to stop and talk to them, but I try to smile at people. But I, I have to do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> then Be you look very foolish. <laughs> you do. You feel foolish, but you want to communicate. Uh, yeah. You know, normally to you'd be like. To express with your eyes because your mouth can't. can't exactly. Exactly. So um, just trying to use whatever resources are available to communicate that way. Because um, you know, like. You're trying to be polite. You're trying to show that you're, you know, happy to see this person. But, or I, right. yeah, it's so, it, it, it's, it's a strange thing. I think masks will be with us for a long time, if not uh, forever. And texting and emojis are definitely not going anywhere. So yeah. it's an interesting question. And I think I would love to hear from uh, some of the listeners of the program what yes. they think, um, 
as we travel more, as we interact more, will our facial expressions ever just kind of become merged or or what part of your facial expressions and your using your language um do you think we would we would find interesting yeah yeah that's true or even just like how you think that this past year 2020 um has impacted facial expressions right like do you do the same thing as adam at the grocery store or <laughs> somewhere yeah, where you you're like <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's a good question. Well, um, Adam, I've really enjoyed this discussion. Yeah. And um, I hope you all get to listen to the What Is Your Facing program. We'll link that down below in the, um, in the program notes. And we would love to hear what you have to say about it. Yeah. Um, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our, any of our videos of any of our levels of English practice. Um, click the little bell when you do that so you get a notification every time we have a new video. You can find our programs on our website, SpotlightEnglish.com, on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and for joining in with our discussion.